Okay, done here. Um, well, I took my break, messed around with the camera, uh, so I'm back, and I'm going to go ahead and take my, uh, I know it's probably not making out too well, but this is my homemade bushing. I've got some more tools out. got my trusty impact wrench, uh, my quarter-inch DeWalt impact that I got. I got that. Got this little dude. I like it. Uh, it was on sale for $99 for this and a battery and a charger and a bag. And, and uh, then I bought me a couple of five, uh, five amp hour batteries, the Chinese ones. And I, I watched a bunch of stuff on reviews and stuff on them. And, and I, uh, and I read a lot of reviews and, uh, if you, if you find a good, a, a Chinese battery or wherever it's made, you know, uh, with good reviews, you're probably going to be okay. I mean, I haven't, they're definitely way more powerful. They're definitely way more powerful and, uh, how long they'll last, we'll see. But I needed the charger, you know. I didn't really want to buy, I could have bought a Chinese charger, but I really didn't want to buy one, a Chinese charger. I'm trying to get my stuff out here. I'm trying to get what I need. I'm going to use uh, on one side or the other. I'm going to use the use an end wrench on one side and this on the other. That way, when I because I have to reach around the dryer. Let's shut this lid until until I get to doing it here. Oh yeah, my light. I went and got the light and then. Oh. Not sure if I need it right now. I don't think that's helping right now. Um, let's see. These I don't think stay in there. I'll kind of go out and blank. Uh, what do I usually do? Oh, I remember. I use uh, one of those magnetic holders that will. Uh, you know, stay in the, 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 the there, and then I can just switch out whatever kind of bit I want. There we go. This is the socket I want. But if I just put that in there, then it just, it'll work, but it's not going to stay. And this magnetic holder is not, it won't stay in there either. It's not the kind with the little, you got to have the little, uh, there's a couple of sockets. One of those is probably the right size. Ah, one of these will fit in there. And hold a regular socket. That's why I have that in. I think that might be a better setup because I think I happen to just have the right socket for that. Oop, that one's too big. Just I just few of kind of oddball sockets that I had. I, yeah, there we go. I stuck in here with this. And uh oh, that those, you know, they're only held by magnetic. But they got if they have a little slot on the end like that, then it'll hold them. I saw this whole video. Yeah, it snaps right in, and then it snapped onto the the, the socket adapter, so it's not going to come off on you every time you. You know, as soon as you start turning them, using them, they uh, they tend to uh, they tend to kind of get torqued onto the. The nut or uh, the nut or the uh, bolt that you're you know turning, and then they'll just stay on there over time and get aggravating. So uh, okay, now that is what I don't. Where's my magnifying glass? Seven sixteenths. Yep, seven sixteenths. So I've got my end wrenches out. I like this set. I've had it for years now, but it's probably that one. Yep. It has a ratcheting. Uh, in, it's an end wrench with a ratchet. One, you know, the, the the round end is ratcheting, and then a regular open end. People, uh, my brain, I'm forgetting everything, but the young people, they call, they make up new names for stuff, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And then they pull out one, one of these, you know. Uh, and I mean, these things were invented long before they were born, so they don't get to rename them. It's not right. You don't get to. I know kids like to be different than their parents and everything, but 
You just don't get to rename everything that you had. You weren't even alive when it was invented. It's not right. <laughs> Let's see. On, on and off. There we go. So we'll put that on there. Actually, I think I'll do this one first. Maybe I'll have to look and see what I'm doing. There we go. That helps. Yeah. That's a lot quicker. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> There's so much grease on there that it's sticking like crazy. That actually kept me from dropping it, so that's okay. Do I dare leave them in my... I'm going to leave them in my glove. I think I won't drop them because of that. Yeah, watch me. I can't see to do it. Where am I going to put them? Being that they're so greasy, I don't want to just put them anywhere. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting more confused. I don't just kind of started hitting me. Don't know why. I'm not really hungry. I don't think. Got a long ways to go on this here project. No time to start feeling bad now. Yeah, those are quarter quarter twenties. This is a when I get it out I'll I can kind of show. I forgot about the little light. That's very handy. Very handy indeed. I think there's more to getting them out of there than that. I just remembered. Uh, <laughs> grease. Yeah, there's grease everywhere for me. Trying greasing that homemade bushing. Let's see. Okay, they're on this side. Yeah, there they are. I drove, what I did is I drove some sheet metal, self-tapping sheet metal screws through there first. And then, uh, drilled it out. Get it, got it in the right place and then drilled it and put the quarter 20s on there to actually be strong enough to hold it up, you know. I, they might, those other ones might, might have held it, but I didn't want it breaking on me. So I did that. Boy, that these gloves are completely greased up now. Glad I had them on. I knew that was going to be greasy. I have some. Oh, they're in my pocket. I have. I'm using a paper towel over here off camera to try to. Well, I had to. That's what I ended up laying them on these nuts. But uh, I'm trying to wipe it. Wipe these. I don't want to get grease all over my brand new. <laughs> tool. I know one day it'll be filthy. But it ain't yet. So being ni I'm being nice to it. I had to take off one glove. Now I can't get it back on. I'm trying to <laughs> I've had a paper towel in my back. And I found I figured out where my paper towels were that I had gotten for wiping. I knew I'd be needing some. They're in my back pocket. And of course you got a super greasy glove. I didn't want to stick it in my back pocket. So I ain't working on a truck or anything. So I shouldn't be having to get all greasy. But I guess I am. About to. Well the rest of this is not gonna be a greasy work, I don't think. And I don't wanna be old. To where I get things greasy because I'm so dirty. Okay. Now. I've been on, all, so far I've only used this thing for wood, you know, driving wood screws and stuff. And, you know, you don't want grease all over it when you're doing stuff like that. So, trying to keep from greasing it up. Okay.
Now, uh, I need to find the, the bit. Now I have to go back to the other kind of bit. Well, at least this lid opens and closes really. Get my other little set out. God dang it. It does that every time now. It didn't used to do that at all. Every time it dumps them all out. One way or the other. It's just going to do it. One direction or the other. Okay. I need... Yeah, here's the one I was... Even those fell out. Those used to stay in there. They got this gluey stuff on it. It holds them in place. They used to hold them in place. Got a few extra things in there. This is uh, pretty cool. You can quick change all these with that. Oh yeah, and this one, this little short one. That's the one I use. Well, it'll lock onto these kind. And so you can quick change. What I want is a driver. I guess I could get a driver out of there. But this one's not really good on... It's. I don't even know if it's magnetic. So it, this is the magnetic one's the one I need. So, uh... Yeah, and if you have it right set up, these used to stay in there, but now they won't. So it's pretty tricky to shut it. Don't have room to lay it out open right now. Alright, where's this? So I'm already having to change out tips because this was... Like I said, my, my mind's going foggy on me. I'm not thinking good. There we go. Okay. Just lay this... Well, I'll put it in my bag so that I'll have it in the right general area. And I'm not sure what size I need. We'll find out here. Yeah, that was it. Quarter inch. There we go. Now I can show it to you. Okay. That little light's pretty helpful. Stays on a pretty long time. So yeah, I just drove these. They're not even all that long. These uh, little like number 10 sheet metal screws with a drill bit on the end, on the front of them. That one didn't come all the way out, but this, I found on my videos when I was doing this. I'm not sure I've ever uploaded them. I decided, I found them, renamed them on my computer, and then it, I'll upload them, and if they're already there, and what I might have done is uploaded them with just the numbers and the date that was already on there, and thinking, oh, I'll rename them on YouTube, which is a pain. So I did it using a renaming tool, you know, to automatically rename them, automatically number them. And then when I upload them, if they're already there, I can't find them. If they are already there, then YouTube will say, oh, you've already uploaded this, because it uses like an MD5 sums. It knows no matter what the name is. This here, see, I can move it around now. It's broken clean in two. Worn cleaning too. That was a U joint ca uh, cap on my, off my 76 blazer that when my U joints broke one at some point or like several times over the years, uh, the thing's raised up and it's severe angle. And uh, I finally figured out I just cannot run standard U joints. I had I found a brand called Super Strength that are you know extra strong. They'll stay in there a pretty pretty long time. When I used to drive it uh, daily, drive it, and I greased it too. They're greasable. They would still break after, I don't remember how long, it's been too many years because since I've been driving it a lot, but uh, back in the 90s when I used to drive it every day, drive it uh, 20, 25 miles to work, you know, basically 60 miles a day, uh, there and back and then around town, you know. Anyway, and this was a, uh, well, that was just a U-bolt. That wasn't actually four U-joints. Uh, you know, you have, uh, you have both kinds, uh, one, uh, one end... Uh, there's that that uh, strap, you know, prevent cap. You can't really see it too good, can you? That's half of it, or three quarters of it. Uh, and then the other end, you'd have this kind. They look like that, but that I can tell by the way it looks. That was just an old U-bolt of some sort. But anyway, I used it like that. This part, well, it gave me a way to mount this and raise it up. Well, it kept so that the drum couldn't jump up for any reason. But it was just a. It, it was already stuck together in my tool, my box of bare stuff. 
and so I just used it like it was. Uh, I think I flipped it the other way and used it. I think really I had them together and this was turned the other way and it was actually in use because my yoke got severely damaged one time and I think I had to replace it. And so that made sure it stayed together to get me around until, you know, I fixed it. But yeah, I just, it was a piece of good strong angle iron, eighth inch angle iron. And, uh, I drilled holes for that, got that mounted in there, and then I stuck it up in there and used those sheet metal screws. And then I, uh, I do have a hole drilled in that. Where I ended up shoving the grease in was above there. there uh, during the mounting process, I ended up drilling a half inch hole in here so that I could I suck a half inch drill through there. And uh, I don't remember how I did it, but I, to try to figure out where to put this, uh, I kind of went off of the original holes for the brackets that goes in there. I don't need to completely clean this. I was kind of thinking, well, maybe is this being stronger? I might want to reuse it than the one that came with it. But, you know, I never, none of them's broke. This would be the third, you know, when I get a new bear, bushings, bearing kit, uh, you always get, you always get to, uh, those little brackets and everything, and I've never seen one break. So, I th and I, th I know they'll be lined up in the right place. So, let me go put this somewhere and quit playing with it. Uh, it's really greasy. Uh, hopefully, my sound is still working. Everything gets confusing about what to do with stuff for me. Boy, that's really. Let me see if I can wipe some of the grease off of here. I'm looking to see if my sound is still working. Only way I can tell is if I'm paired to my Bluetooth receiver, then my sound should be working. Then down there, I don't think you can see that low. Well, I just another one of those screws. I must have dropped it during the installation. It's been there the whole time. I remember that was really hard to get that done. It took me 12 hours. I was making videos and working, you know. And, uh, everything that's greasy and everything, or all the all the shavings and dust and dirt but I can feel it's hard a lot of it's going to be the metal shavings from all that wear it has just stuck because of the grease well all that grease I've been putting in there got down on there on my wheel uh, I, I, one thing I discovered the hard way years ago you kept seeing lithium grease and it's it all and some people said they liked it, but most, there was, I was, you know, the YouTube wasn't such a big thing. I think it was still, I think it was out, but wasn't full of how-to and all that kind of stuff like it is now. And, uh, and I, uh, I, I love watching how-to and, you know, information videos and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think. I need another rag. But, yeah, let me just go get an see if I can get that off. I got one in my back pocket. One more. If I can get it off. He's done. I put these on. Brand new set. Brand new pair. I had some slightly used ones, but they look really used. So I thought, oh, I, don't, I don't know if they've got holes in them or anything. And I grabbed a new pair. And I've already ruined them. Yeah, see, I don't want grease all over the place. But I was wiping... Is that wheel even in the... Huh? You talking to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it's in there. Yeah, it's just barely in the bottom of the picture. The we I put this little wheel in here years ago. The uh, first time that bearing bushing wore out, I couldn't figure out how to get the drum off, and uh, 
so I figured out I could reach through the, the access hole down here for the belt and stuff. And uh, I was able to... Well, that's not all that worn. I thought it might be worn. I think all that grease has been taken care of. Oh, you know, uh, anyway, it kept, kept the... Uh, the drum was squealing like crazy because it, the bushing, the plastic bushing, which I couldn't see or anything. Oh, I ripped them. I couldn't see or anything. Uh, didn't know what was in there at that time when I put that in there. Uh, I didn't know the trick about lifting up the drum just to get it out of that cup. But I showed it in my earlier video today. How that, the new one, I showed the new one. Yeah, I got to get rid of this pair of gloves right now. Doing me no more good. But, uh, yeah, the lithium grease, I had that spray white lithium grease. Wipe the back off a little bit. Found the washer. Throw that away. I could get rid of these and get another pair. And uh, the lithium grease promised to be so wonderful. And it's the worst stuff I've ever used. The only time it even halfway seems to make something move better is get me my bag of rag my bag of paper towels is when uh when it's um uh, wet as soon as it starts drying up it uh i'm gonna go ahead and use some of these used ones and use them up i was thinking uh, I was worried about holes and also I thought there might be chemicals on them or something. But if there was bad chemicals on them, I would have just thrown them away. Well, that one didn't last till I got it on. Uh, probably, if, you know, I might have been using them like when I was scrubbing something with alcohol or something. Uh, one of them's kind of discolored. That was the one that made me say, well, maybe I don't want to wear those, but I just don't have to use it. Okay, I kind of need to get me some something to clean with. I have acetone, but you know what? You may need to pay attention to. Uh, not all of these are, do, are the same. They're not uh, these gloves. Not uh, even if they're called what, natural gloves. There's all different types that are made for different purposes. Some of them, well, oh, I just went blank. The cleaner that I just got through saying, it goes right through them. And I found that out the first time I tried them using these with that, uh, with that stuff. And uh, it goes right through them in an instant. Your hands just start burning. Uh, I was cleaning. Try anyway, I won't even go into all of what I was doing. But uh, alcohol, will, after a while, alcohol seems to uh, maybe start getting through them. Anyway, they, there's only some kind of really expensive ones that you really are any good for chemicals. Uh, I think, as a matter of fact, I use I usually keep one at my desk because I don't and, and I because when I clean I clean my glasses all the time and uh, with Windex and uh, I swear that if you really keep on, keep wetting your, the, these gloves with Windex, this, this this ones I have right now especially is where I noticed it. Uh, I, it feels like it's uh, well. It's the reason I do it is because my skin will crack and dry and get to where the you know bleeds from from that Windex, and so I, I just wear one glove and only you know the one that I, I spray it on a paper towel and then I'll clean my glasses and so I just use one glove for that that one hand, and uh, I started uh, getting irritated on that hand. I thought, well, I've been wearing a glove every time I do it. What's the deal? So this brand I have here. I won't go get them and go get off sidetrack. I need to get this all done. But uh, they may not be as good as the last brand I had is what I'm trying to say. I, I've used up the, the ones I had. I, I, used, I bought a pretty big box. I don't use them real often, you know, so they last several years. The box of 100 or whatever, 200. But, yeah, I was thinking I might. I have another. I, I had a pair of these wheels, and I was thinking I might replace this one maybe with the other one that's never been used 